DJ Paul KOM Mafia Radio, man. Y'all already know what it is on Dash Radio, the channel Dash Mixtape. Special guest in the house today, Drea Regler, straight out of Los Angeles, man. She she doing real estate and all kind of things. We'll get into that. My other special guest, I met on Instagram, Sam J Low Key. Hey, hey. And we can't have all these beautiful ladies here without a extra guy to help me handle it all, man. We got DJ E's up in here, man. Another DJ, man. We'll also get into the reason why he's up in here with us and me and these beautiful ladies and uh, kind of cock blocking my threesome. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's get into some music. 3-6 Mafia. Let's play one, man, right here. Yeah. We back up in this motherfucker Mafia Radio. Your boy DJ Paul KOM, man, on Dash, the channel, Dash Mixtape. Like I said, we got... Drea regular in here. We got Sam J Low Key and we got DJ Ease. Let's start with you, uh, Andrea. No, Hi. Drea. Sorry, yeah. I didn't say it. I, I said it wrong. I just do Drea because it's shorter. It's oh, catchier. it is Andrea. You know, real estate is sales. So. Oh, I just said it because I was high. <laughs> so it really is Andrea. But we'll go with Drea. Yeah, Drea. 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 So you, 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 you in real estate? I am. So you are, are you a real estate agent? You I in, am. I do a little bit around. of everything. I've done flips, investments, sales. I've concentrated now in sales. And now I'm starting to find myself a little bit branching into design work and a little bit of freelance now. Design, like home design? Yeah, I love decor. I love houses. Interior decor. I love everything about transforming spaces. You watch a lot of HGTV, don't you? I do. I DIY. do. I, I can't walk into a room without wanting to transform it somehow. Me and too. Change something. I'm, I'm the same way because I, I got a small real estate company. Not Nothing big like yours. Just a small real estate company and I own um, a lot of properties. And um, but I don't do the the whole uh, buying and flipping thing because Why? I I don't like that to be honest with you. I never really got into that. But you, obviously we got a, a pro here with us today, so maybe I can learn something. You don't check up on your properties to see I got if property. they're worth money and start. I got property out. managers. Oh, but you talking about on that? Yeah, we're getting to all that. Okay. But now I, I I haven't really, and I tell you why. One of the reasons why I like uh, the, the way I've been doing it is I go in and I buy these houses cash. So I don't finance them no matter how much they cost, whether they are $3 million or $4 million or whether they 40000 And I just buy them cash, and then um, we put a few dollars in them to get them right. And uh, some of them will stage if they like the, the million-dollar homes or whatever, and I just rent them out. Nice. So you but the reason why I like doing it like that is because... Um, I don't have to deal with all the shit of people trying to get loans because it's so hard to get a loan these days. Do you hold on to them here or in L.A. or do you have them everywhere? I got them. I got them in Tennessee, Las Vegas, and L.A. Where's your favorite real estate market out of all of them? Um, now I'm interviewing you. Ten- yeah, I want you to interview me. <laughs> okay. Tennessee, Tennessee, 100. percent Really? Why? Yeah, it's oh really God. cheap out there, right? Yeah, it's dirt cheap. Yeah. yeah okay. you, you'll make 13 percent of your money out there. Is right? that where you're from? Your your home. I'm from Tennessee. Got it. So I like to flip them, and uh, you know, I mean, not flip them. I don't like to. You flip like to them. hold them. I don't like to flip them because I don't. I, if you sell them, then you got to give the government they chunk. Right. You know, and uh, you got all that. You got to. You, before you know it, you half your money is gone or whatever. So. I just like the residual money because right. I'm a musician. Right. And I can't fucking be on a cruise ship at 70 years old talking about Teddy Club. I've been hitting lines of coke. Who the fuck want to see I that? I think you could. Not every rapper, but you probably could. Hey, I might be doing it. I might be doing it. Hello. I, 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 might, pay for that. I might pay Tear for that. up the club and drink some wine Uh-oh. on the love boat. I think it's classic. I think we'd still be bopping to that. <laughs> yeah, because you'll be all with me. But, uh, you know, everybody in this room will be all at that point. But so, yeah, but it, just in case that yeah. cruise ship don't want to yeah. see us up there. Yeah. You know, you want to make um, money while you sleep. I want to make money while I sleep. Gotcha. I want to gotcha. get those, have those royalty checks still coming like they are. Because some of these little kids will still be out there sampling that shit all over the place like they are right now. Right. And uh, the, the, the properties. Right. Because when nobody needs to buy DJ Paul barbecue sauce to put on a piece of meat that they can't afford to eat, or <laughs> nobody needs to listen to music, they're going to need a roof over their head. Always. And Always. that's why I want to be there to be that person to put the roof over their head. And maybe See. I give them some free barbecue sauce and a CD as a moving package. Right. That's, so that's smart. I, I want to try it. <laughs> so what's your, what's your take on flipping versus doing it the way that it I really do it? It really depends on what... Your goal is and how much money you got. If you can, you got it like that, then yeah, by all. Power, but let's just say you know? if somebody's financing, if they're not paying cash, like me, if they financing, so yeah, but there's still ways to make money. It's 
kind of like flipping drugs. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. properties. Yeah, it just depends how much money drugs. you're. It is. Yeah. It's just a product. Uh-huh. It's a product, whether it, it's that or it, it's A, B, or C. It doesn't matter. You're just you just do numbers and you do a couple and then you don't want to do it no more. Eventually, so you get to you, a point to where you don't want to do it no more. If you're a dude in L.A. and you came up on, or on the West Coast, I use this as an example because it's more expensive than other places. If you are a guy from L.A. and you just came up on a a million dollars, like you're a rapper right. or you're selling weed or whatever, and you just, you just came up on a uh-huh. quick million you want to flip in uh-huh. the real estate. Would you tell him to buy and flip, or would you tell him to... I would to loan that money out and have somebody else do the work. You so I'd be the, the lender. To, you would loan... Oh, there you go. That's another <laughs> take on it. Yeah. You, so why, you, why do you want to be a loan one? shark. Now you want to be a loan shark. That's your money. Make it work for you. Make somebody else work that money for you. Mm. And what percentage thought, would you charge him on drugs. that? What percentage would you charge him on that? It just depends on how much money it is. It depends on how oh, I just long told you the money is. Oh, well, how long the money is? Like oh, how gosh, many six gotcha. months, three months? How gotcha, long does that gotcha, flip? Gotcha, is it gotcha. two years? Uh-huh. What is it worth to you? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There's people that charge as little as five, as 20, 30 percent. It depends really on mm-hmm. every deal gets structured completely different and I different gotcha. scenarios depending on how much you want to put up and how much they got in the game too. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. I'll help you out. <laughs> you got I'll move it for you. Sam J, what would you do with a million dollars right now? Invest. Invest? Oh, yeah. What you invested into? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things. You, y'all got me on that whole uh, flipping stuff. So, I mean, if you want to go on real estate, I mean, you want to go up north where you got that real good grounds and you want to, you, you know, talking? make some profit. I come from up north. I come from Passa Bay, where all the everybody's farmers. So I know people that go and they they buy them lands and uh-huh. they get them lands and they sell them lands and they grow off them lands and then they fucking make bank and they flip it all the way to the East Coast. Ooh. So that's what I was. Sam that's where Jim mine goes. A whole new level to the <laughs> game. Yeah. That's Man, just my that logic. Shit, they skip that shit. Some of the bad, the fumbling, some of the dumb, the dumb, the dumb, the dumb, the dumb, the dumb, the dumb. That's where my mind went. I don't know. That's what I've been thinking. I'd be like, hey, you know what? You want to invest in that money? There's so many ways to invest. Man, no. Sam J just woke the fuck up. We got to get more into this, man. Dre, you ready for this? Ease, ready. you ready for this? Yeah. Let's go into some music, man. And we coming back with J, Sam J with the Satan shirt on. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> yeah. We back. I get the bag and fumble it. You get the tumble and tumble whatever. That's a great song right there. We back. Mafia Radio. Your boy DJ Paul KOM. We up in here with Sam J Low Key. We up in here with DJ E's. What up? We up in here with Drea. Hi. Regular. Hi. But ain't nothing regular about him. <laughs> she out here making that money. Hey. DJ E's, where you from, man? I'm from upstate New York, Rochester, man. You from New York? Right. Rochester. Yeah. yeah. You ever heard of a guy named SMK? SMK? No. Shout out to SMK. That's an old friend of mine from, from back in the day. He's from Rochester, New York, a producer from Memphis. Oh, uh, Rochester, New York. What how you what makes you come to LA beside the snow? Well, yo. Now, I first I ended up in Vegas, and I was I had a residency at the Hard Rock Hotel. They offered me to come out there and win a DJ battle, and they gave me a residency. So I've been out there for Ooh, four years, shit, uh-huh. and now I'm in L.A. working with uh, DJ companies doing consultant work. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Vegas is cool. I got some property in Vegas. I love Vegas. That's where, my, that's where I first met you. It was a minute ago, boy. Yeah. Oh, I was drunk was out there fuck. Fuck. Yeah, you were, man. I was playing one of your records. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I was crazy. drunk as shit. <laughs> I had to get away from Vegas, man. I still go out there because I still got the the properties out there, man. But I had to, I had to get away. I found myself. I made the biggest mistake when I first moved to Vegas. I moved in a condo on the Strip. Mm. I later on got a house far and far as fuck away from the Strip. But I moved into a condo on the Strip. Before I knew it, I was in my pajamas downstairs in the lobby at the bar, <laughs> four in the morning, <laughs> literally. Literally, I was at the um, Cosmopolitan. Wow. And I was staying right above the Cosmopolitan right there. And yeah, I, w- I was fucking for the, like the first four months. I was fucking ruthless. I hide from the strip, like, man. That's a newer hotel, Yeah, you too. got to. I hide yeah, from the strip. Yeah, it's new. But that's the place to invest right now, speaking of investments, because the Raiders are coming there, so you want to get yeah, property there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my property went up. I gained a... Uh, before the Raiders even came... I gained an extra million on the property that I have out there. Wow. But now I got this. Now keep in mind now I got this house. It was, it was only it was only nine months old. It was a foreclosure. And I just came in and I uh, beat somebody else out on the deal because I could pay cash and other competition wanted to. Um, in 08 when everybody finance. started losing everything? No, this is actually in 12. Oh. Mm. 11. 
No, I was 12. I'm sorry, 11. I went there in, in 11. That's when I got the condo I told you about. But I bought the house in 12 when I realized that I was getting entirely too drunk <laughs> at the condo. <laughs> but yeah, I got it on a, uh, I got it on a, um, a foreclosure. I came in and I bought it way under price already and the neighborhood was moving up like crazy. So I, right now it's worth an extra million dollars and that's before all of the like mega, 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 mega million dollar houses that they put in my neighborhood. So you have long-term tenants in there or do you rent it out like for the weekend, like I Airbnb do, uh, or what do you do? I never got into the Airbnbs yeah. yet. No, I do years. I like putting families up in there. Got it. You okay. can trust them a little. But now I do okay. got some properties that don't have families in them, and them fuckers party they fucking asses <laughs> off. And which it fucked me up big time because, like, one of my properties got a rapper in it. And I was like, at first I didn't want to do it. I probably shouldn't even tell the story, too. But at first I didn't want to do it. I was like, no, I ain't putting no fucking rappers in my house. But then I thought about it. I was like, fuck, I was a young rapper trying to move to. You yeah. know, Beverly Hills and all that shit too. When I was, you know, 11 yeah. years ago when I first came here. And I was like, damn, I can't do that. Like, I can't stereotype a rapper. I'm a rapper. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, lol on the Instagram. <laughs> I'm seeing big blunts blown in the kitchen and shit. I'm like, <gasps> like that's I'm my went from a gangster rapper to a fucking domesticated white woman in a second. I was like, <gasps> You're like that's my blunts in the kitchen. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was like, I know I got in that contract, no smoking in this goddamn house. <laughs> but I didn't say nothing. You know, I didn't trip. I was like, Jesus Christ, my heart was beating fast. And I was like, fuck. Because well, I don't even smoke in my own house. You know, I walk outside. You know, you smoke on the balcony. It's, oh, it's L.A. The weather's always good. This ain't Tennessee where we're fucking raining outside. Like, it's like, it's, it's the weather is good. It ain't a bunch of niggas snugged up up on their porch <laughs> trying to <laughs> keep from getting rained on smoking a, a fucking joint. You're like, I don't even smoke in my house and they have their feet up smoking in my house. So I was like, oh my God, man. The fucking Rolls Royce turned into a minivan. Just my everything changed in a second like right there before me. It was fucking weed turned into pretty ass fucking roses and shit. Chocolate covered cherries popped up in the ashtray. <laughs> but anyway, it was bad. The hen turned into wine. Yeah. But um, I don't, you know, obviously I don't I don't look at it like that no more. I don't really give a shit, you know, because they pay good. And I know they got the money. Right. And the fuckers got millions of followers. I know they got the money. So uh, anyway, um, that was uh, that was my deal. So you you still in Vegas or are you? you I'm, in, in LA? I'm in L.A. now. I'm in Burbank out here. But I still got a spot in, in uh, Vegas. Burbank, you better make sure you wear your seatbelt. Those fucking police out yeah, there. Yeah, they do pull you over. They pull you over for walking wrong or anything. Yeah, they pull your ass over for nothing. Yeah. That's safe I already as witnessed fuck. It. Yep. Safe as fuck. <laughs> Let's get to some music, man. We'll be right back. Mafia Radio. Yeah. Mafia Radio with DJ Paul K.O. went on Dash Radio, the channel Dash Mixtape, man. We up in this motherfucker. Sam J. Lowkey, you from uh, Northern California? Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were from Arizona. Did you spend time uh, out there? I tend to move around a little bit. You move around? <laughs> yeah. You smuggling drugs or something? <laughs> no. No. What? No. What do you do, Sam J? You do music. I know you do music. I do music. I've been modeling. Um, I was highly domesticated for a few years out in Arizona. Um, domesticated? You had a husband? Oh, uh, I, I, yeah. I, I get it. I get no, it. I'm joking. Yo, I'm joking. I thought I'm joking. I did. I'm joking. I'm, joking. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It was yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got time. I can edit this uh, motherfucker. No, nah, I'm joking. You don't have to get in all that. But, but not. Nah, um, you was domesticated in Arizona. Yeah, I did that. I got everything. I got my house. Everything all was on stack. And then, you know, I said, fuck it. This is all bullshit. So I'm going to go do my thing. And I went and decided to go back after music and modeling and clothing and all that shit I wanted to do when I was younger. And fucking hopped on out here to LA and now I just travel back and forth so you you, re you recently came to LA um I was here a couple months ago you moved here a couple of months ago yeah so I, I like literally bounce back and forth a little bit I'm a nomad I'm a nomadic a little bit I got a place out in uh, Arizona and then I got a spot out here that I bounce around to and the 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 the, 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 the day job is music or is that modern or what is that so I have actually a normal job <laughs> in Phoenix where I'm a credit consultant for a law firm. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. A credit consultant. <laughs> God 
God damn it. So like now I see what it feels like when people look at people because of judge tattoos. A book by judge, its cover. Yeah, you can't judge a book. <laughs> oh right. hell no, yeah. I don't never let my tattoos people, stop yeah, me. Yeah, people <laughs> judge me all the time. Like people that don't know who I am, they judge the shit out of my ass, man. Like fuck. When I got my job, people are like, How did you get this job? Because I mean, obviously you see I got them everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you got them fucking everywhere. <laughs> They're like, How did you get hired? I was like, I did my job right. <laughs> you you like face to face to people or you over the phone? You're no, I'm over the phone and I deal I deal with people face to face and over the phone. So I'm allowed to have cards. I go out and I reach out to people and I deal with the people over the phone. So a con, uh, consultant, so you tell people the best way to approach uh, a, a loan or something? Um, no, well, pretty much about fixing their credit. It's like, well, there's also the sales technique. To I was like, you say you're a credit consultant. There's like, there's also like, I have a confidence, so I'm not trying to sell motherfuckers too much. <laughs> so I mean, like, yeah, there's like, yo, we much. can fix your credit, and then there's also these ways that you can fix your credit. Now you should probably do this, and so that's what we kind of suggest to them there. On all these credit. best ways to fix their credit because really credit is it's everything you got. Man, it sucks. It's so important. <laughs> man, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story about credit, man, and this is a true story. So a long time ago, like in 1997, 96, 97, when we made uh, Tether the Club up, the Chapter Two World Domination and Three Six Mafia album, me and Juicy went and bought two uh, houses next door to each other. It was the first two houses we ever bought. Juicy was finna buy a house. My dumb ass was at the Mercedes Benz lot. And I was buying them Mercedes Benz and Juicy in Memphis was cheap. And Juicy called me, he's like, man, the same amount you paying for that car, we can get brand new houses in Cordova, Tennessee. That was where all the white people was living at. It was brand new. They still live there. And I was like, what? I can get a house for the amount I'm paying for this Mercedes? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, fuck, I'm finna leave this motherfucker. And I told the dude, I was like, look, I'll be back. I left the car lot, went and bought the house. But anyway, my house, my down payment was double the price that, that his was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, why? And they was like, they was like, because your credit ain't good. And I was like, what the fuck is credit? I got all kinds of money, man. I got millions of dollars. Who the fucking need credit? Like, dude, this is my bank statement. Like, look, I got millions of dollars. They was like, that shit don't mean shit. They was like, you didn't pay for a $125 beeper. <laughs> Yo, you said a beeper? A beeper. I was like, nigga, a beeper? I was like, you still mad about that old shit? Like, who the fuck even used those still? Like, why the fuck you still mad about that? I had to go find this place and pay this $125 to this beeper company to get my credit halfway straight to, to pay $10,000 less down payment. Now, thank God doctors still use beepers, because other than that, this place would have fucking probably been out of business, <laughs> and I would have been fucked. <laughs> you know, 10, 10 grand out the fucking pocket. Mm -hmm. So credit is very important. My daddy used to tell me all the time, he was like, Paul, no matter how much money you make, you need to keep your credit good, because, you know, you're going to always be on the downside. Like, I was, well, another thing happened to me earlier this year, I was, I, was, um, I was buying a piece of property for some, uh, for some people, uh, from some people and uh, they chose me over somebody that was like mega mega way more richer than me because I had better credit right they consider everything it's yeah, not they just your it's not the credit. price they look at everything yeah your, your credit is it basically tell them what kind of nigga you is yeah it says a lot like, they don't know you you. Can, you can have a murder charge but if you got good credit yeah you pay people man, back man them motherfuckers who, who let you borrow some shit or yeah. so you buy they gonna be like look I know you killed somebody. You know, we <laughs> shit happens. Shit happens. I killed my ex-wife. That's how I got this company. But, uh, you know, you got good credit, so you're okay in my book, man. You know, things happen. Things happen. And that's pretty cool, Sam, Sam J. Low-Key. You fucking are low-key. I see where the low-key come from. Uh, <laughs> She's low-key, the motherfucker who you're talking to every day on the phone trying to get your shit right. <laughs> so, uh, Drea, do you work for a company or you work for? I do. Uh, I work for Remax. Remax. I like Remax. That's it's a nice a great brand. You know? Yeah, I bought all my old houses from Remax. You need to buy your new ones, too. I will. For me, now, now that I've met you, I like, will. You, you buy a lot of property. <laughs> yeah, now that i met you, I will. But, like, when I... I'm not going to lie. When I first came to L.A., I didn't really know Remax is out here because there's other, so many other companies that yeah, got the billboards and the bus stops. It's a good brand. You know what I mean? It, it, it's it, a real good brand. It's a classic People don't know brand. me from the next agent, but when they see a Remax agent or a no-name... That's a that's a that's, remix, that's a know? legendary name. That's right. got a, like the poster child right, right, of, right. of this. Until Andrea becomes a name or a brand. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna get your own company too. I'm trying. I'm trying to to go there and and really brand myself. Forget Remax. Forget real estate. But really brand myself as just 
you know, properties, everything that has to do with properties, what it is design or building or loans or everything that has to do with them. Rentals. How you know? how was it how was how hard would it was it coming up in a male dominated game? It's still hard. It's probably harder now. I think when because even my age, you know, I at Remax I have a lot of older uh -huh, this is OG American. Though. I'm a young Latina and people look at me and they don't take me serious. You yeah. know? And they see an older white guy that's like 70 or 80 yeah, and he looks more they credible yeah, exactly. they don't know that I'm a mean negotiator and I will check that agent's Instagram and I will go no. on their mama's Facebook and I will rules. hook them down yeah. and new I'm very creative rules. with my negotiations social, you know because I'm not social media old school. another I'm, thing today that's basically yes. a social security card yes like I will I I have tools that they don't you know and I have well, you show, dude, the you energy got looks <laughs> you got sexy body uh, and, like I have the energy Honestly, these older agents are sleepy, you know, and it, but it's hard. It's hard. Speaking of sleeping, you ever had a guy that uh, you tried to sell him a house and he tried to make it seem like, obviously, no, why I, did I probably, ask you why? Yeah, of, of course you've had Out that. of 10, probably three are just fishing, fishing. for a communication. Trying to see. Trying to see. Yeah, pretending to be interested or asking me a dumb yeah. question yeah. that yeah. really leads Man, nowhere. this is yeah. a nice master bedroom. <laughs> What size bed you think I could get up in? I don't let it get that far. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty smart. I can kind of like, when they ask, okay, send me your loan application before I work with you. Then they're like, oh, well, I'm leaving next year. Exactly. <laughs> I, I don't just show up to somebody's house with some so guy. So the loan know. application, what else you want to see up front? Well, that, I mean, the loan application has everything. That's mm -hmm. your social. That's your mm -hmm. W-2s. That's your two years taxes. That tells you a lot about they somebody. They got a picture of them on it? Their driver's license, yeah. There you go. <laughs> There you go. And then I look up their Facebook, their Instagram, look at their baby mamas. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, you, you're not playing. You're 100. Playing. But you got to do that these days, though, because you, you don't know to. what kind of fucking stalker fucker you did. You finna go show a house by yourself? No, to these and especially fuckers? as a girl, like no. And then the more you know, you expose yourself and you put yourself out there, in with the good comes the bad. You know, well, yeah, I get you sometimes weird yourself, man. calls at I'm 4 a.m. No yeah, I'm like, what? Is is, you know, but what are you gonna do? It's part of the game. You, you, it, it's what it is. Part of the hustle. It is. It real, comes with real it. Real estate good. is a hard, a hard. Um, I love it though. Hustle. You know what? I like the challenge. I like being the young girl that you know, the underdog. I like being underestimated. Well, the good part about real estate is, you know, versus anything else in the world, because I invested into a lot of things. I invested mm -hmm. into dumb shit. I invested into mostly smart stuff, and uh, um, I, um, I would say the real estate is the best. Because God's not making no more land, no. you know, so. And here in L.A., all, all the houses are old. They're mm -hmm. all old. So everything needs work. You know, everything needs to be updated. Everything needs to be transformed. And it's a, it's a rule in L.A., right? If you remodeling, yeah, you got to keep a wall up, right? Yeah, One there's wall. all kinds of building and safety. That's the only thing that is a drawback with a lot of our deals is that. LA DBS because they're so overwhelmed and backed up because LA is old, but their houses values don't. They don't go nowhere. They don't go down. Yeah, like in uh, Vegas, uh, uh, I had I got the property out there, and at one point I had it up for sale, and then I took it down because I just I saw it growing in price, and I was like, I would feel like a fool if I sold it right now for this price, and you know the capital gain all that shit kicking. Yeah, By the time I know it, I, I don't you know I don't lost some money versus just keeping it, letting it grow in value while I'm getting paid monthly watching it do that. Right. It's better than having your money in the bank. Because right. the bank, you're getting pennies but, uh, to to the dollar, but the real estate, you're getting way more to the dollar than it's sitting in the bank. And if you look at L.A. or you look at New York or you look at these hotspots, you know, it doesn't go down. Like, people always want to be in the same That's spot. what I was getting at. So, like, Vegas yeah. will drop yeah. big percentages. Yeah. But California won't really drop over 25%, no. right? No. It's, it's going to stay good. You Even see, at its worst, at it's going to be better than everywhere else in the world. You look at those old shacks that are like millions of dollars in the Hollywood Hills or Santa Monica. Like, you know, they're shitholes. They're like two bedrooms. Yeah, it'll be like a feet. one or two bedroom, 1,900 square feet up in Tear the Hollywood downs. Hills. Tear down. They don't even have central air and heat. Like, no. it's air conditioning in the window. Foundation in the issues. Window. And they're over a million dollars. Yeah, wow. over a million dollars. And, and they're trying did. to tell you some shit like, I love Lucy lived in this house back <laughs> in 1959. Like, nigga, they didn't need air. They didn't know what air conditioners were then. This, is, this ain't 1959. 
Yeah, damn it. I love Lucy. I love the TV show, yeah. but I also love an AC. And I don't yeah. want to have to be standing in front of that motherfucker <laughs> like back in the day eating a snow cone. It is kind of good. No, but LA and Hollywood's not going anywhere. People no, are always going to flock nowhere. here. People they are always going to need rentals. People are always going to want to live here. People are always going to want to retire here. People are always going to want to yeah. do porn. Yeah. You got to come here to do the porn. That's the valley. Yeah, you, you got to be in, in the valley for that. Yeah. I think Canoga Park, the um, valley? Chatsworth, all that area is known no, for no, that. No, no, I don't yet. live in the valley and I made a porn last night. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't believe you. And actually, I'm always in the valley, man. That's what the hood is. We're going to get into some music, man. Mafia. Yeah. We're back. Mafia Radio, DJ Paul KOM. Up in here with my girl, Drea, regular, who's not regular. DJ Ease, Sam J, low key. Sam J, so we got some music we can look for. Is out right now. You're just in the in the process of I'm doing it. I'm still in the process. I'm waiting to get some uh, engineering done on some stuff, and I actually think Very I was important. wanting to re-record some things. You know, I'm still getting into my groove. I just started a few months ago, but I've been popping off pretty quick, and so I'm like, oh shit, all right, I better get on this shit. There you <laughs> so, go. <laughs> Take your time, cause it, no rush, and plus it's the holidays, oh, so no, I'm you know, let, let, everybody's fucking mind is fucked up right now. So no, let them get their mind right, and then uh, hit them with some music. Yeah. Now, Sam J is a big fan of Yellow Wolf. I, I've started... Oh, the Slamerican brand. Yeah, I started listening to him when I was, like, back in the day, like... Because like. you got Slamerican merch on, like, a lot of your... Yellow Wolf, you better hire this girl to do some modeling for you, too, fucker. <laughs> your black ass better hire her to do, do some modeling. <laughs> So uh, I know some of them. I know some of the people. I know some of them. Y'all see them liking your pictures and everything. Yeah, they know you. They this know American family. They know you, Alice. I'm just very solo. You know, I always stay so like you I'll show up. I show up. Well, actually, I was at the pop up that was here, and I saw you. I was by myself though. I was posted up against the wall by myself. People are like, "Hey, what's up? What you doing?" In the I'm club, like, "I'm just chilling." Up. <laughs> Got my arms folded. <laughs> <laughs> and it down, and it yeah, I was just rolling by myself though, chilling. Um, but yeah, no, I started listening to him a long time ago. You know. What's your favorite Yellow Wolf song? Oh shit, man! Actually, I really liked. You know what? Box shit. No, I really liked Gangster, the one that he took off the market. I would love to ask him why, like, where that went, like back, back, back. You know the song Gangster that he did yeah. with other was this was they said. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yellow, you got to let her know where that, uh, what happened to I that I just want to know what happened with that. That you know, I was, I could always relate with everything he talked about for me. Um, as a, even though I'm a female, but like everything, like I grew up skateboarding, white oh, trash, yeah. small town. You know, Small town up north. Yeah, California. up north. Yeah, oh, up north kept farmers. Everybody's growing weed. Like you know, I was a little ugly ass little like, white girl skateboarding. No, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, but then I ended up kicking it with the homies in the streets and the skateboarders and just kind of like. That's fine. That's when you found it. Going down to the bay. And next thing you know, what kind, I'm in what kind of music you you talking about? You talking about smoking them funny cigarettes in your records? Pot. <laughs> pot. Talking about smoking pot. No, nah, I don't talk about that shit. Get out of here. I, you, don't smoke, you don't talk about smoking weed? Nah. Nah. I smoke Sipping it, but on I don't gin talk and juice, about it. none of that? Nah, nah. I talk about real shit that I be well, doing. But it is real shit. No, that is real shit, but that's like that's like, that's like like putting a t shirt on, you know? Oh, gotcha, <laughs> so gotcha. That's just like. You're talking about some other shit. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking about like going by the shirt. You try to talk about like we making some moves up in this bitch. There you go. <laughs> we there gotta get go. some uh, some moves going in all different ways that a lot of people probably wouldn't expect me to talk about. But yeah, it's exactly. some real shit. So I know you do. So they trying to they trying to I, I, I asked this question to some guests that was on here um, the other week. They they uh, they trying to in in uh, impeach the the president for uh, having sex with a stripper or something or they think he did or whatever the case is I mean we all have sex with strippers I don't, I don't I don't I mean a porno star I mean no, I don't get it. it I was actually but, gonna have one of my friends she, she's this girl she's a porno star out here and she is fine I was you gonna have her come with you I was gonna fuck her on the radio man we are gonna fuck her on the radio she's fine as fuck and she is uh <laughs> No, I couldn't have fucked her. I'm in a relationship. But, but she, I would have watched she, you she, fuck she her. Could've, she could have hung out. I would have watched you fuck she the fuck out of her. <laughs> but she be so, crushing on me. So, so no, support. So, so <laughs> support the if, if you was president and they was going to impeach you, what what would it be for? <laughs> should, <laughs> the, the, the radio should, version. Should, should you, you can cuss, but just... Oh, no, I don't even think... This is like a list of things. That if they wanted to, society could have been... Don't talk about no bodies you buried no, in the no, San no, Fernando no, Valley. No, just, I ain't doing nothing. Talk, <laughs> talk see, about, see like, uh, uh, <laughs> some other stuff. Like, what's the what's but, the crazy... You into uh, girls? I love... Yeah, well, girls are fine. You like uh, guys mostly, though? No, 
I just like people and people that got good vibes and if they're good looking, I'm like, bitch don't kick get it. Bitch don't get <laughs> line. I'm, I'm just kicking it. Like I just, just roll with it. the, you know, and then it's like they ready to make some money, we're gonna go make some money. If they're ready to kick in just entertain me, then cool, let's go entertain. <laughs> like I'm See, like, in other words, I ain't answering that question, DJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ East, what, uh, you, you see you out here spinning in the club, you're doing production in the studio? Where yeah, you I produce, so I got an album out right now on Spotify, iTunes, uh, all of, everything out there. Um, it's uh, International Ease, Kodak's Kids, I produced it. I got another one coming out also, so I'm producing. I'm also DJing for Young and May on tour. And um, Young and May, what? Yeah, I just won a Global Spin Award. So what? I want to shout out the Global Spin Awards for me and Young and May, hot as fuck. Yeah, that's my girl, man. That's she right really, she pretty cool. I never met her yet. She cool. She's cool as a bitch, man. Cool like, as fuck. Yeah, homie, like real, she a real person. Ass a bitch too. Nah, she she know what it is. Yeah, that's the <laughs> homie. Yeah. She's yeah. super super cool. Like, from yeah. what I've seen on on uh, you know, and a big fan and my uh, my nephew C to C, they talk about her all the time. Local Donny love her down. So uh, production, I need to dig on the Astas. You know they're gonna ask, what what do you use? I've been using the MPC, but uh, right, lately I've been on a push two on Ableton. Push two, yeah. I bought a push two. I haven't got a chance to use it yet. Yeah, I I, was, I stick with the OG sometimes. The two thousand and two thousand XL. I tried the Renaissance, didn't like it, and now I'm um, I'm an Ableton. I like Ableton a lot. So uh, yeah. on, you 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 wax man or you CJ man? Wax you, man. Wax. I, I was oh, in the DMC, I was in the DMC battles. I did DMC yeah. battles. I, I won the Red Bull battle, and it's all like vinyl and. Um, so you still the putting a quarter on the needle? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm working with Serato, man. I like, y'all love the, the new era. Shit. Yeah, so shit. yeah, I'm with I'm with the records, man. Yeah, we was talking about we was talking about records uh, the other week on the show where I was telling these youngins where uh, where entourages come from. Like when you see rappers with a bunch of guys. You know, it didn't I just come that. just because they just want to feed a bunch of niggas on tour with them. Right. It came from helping carry these milk crates of records, all of the vinyl. So that's where entourages really came from. Yeah, I got the bad back for, from it still, man, carrying it on a train in Brooklyn and all that. So my, my shoulder's crooked and shit, carrying the records. You're from Brooklyn? I lived in Brooklyn for 10 years. I did. I worked. No, uh, you're from Rochester. I'm from Rochester, but yeah, you I lived live in Brooklyn, Brooklyn for 10 years. Yeah. Who's your favorite DJ? Jazzy Jeff. Jeff. You already of know course. Jeff. Yeah. He's the best, man. Jeff is the best, yeah. It, it changed my life when I when I heard that first uh, J- DJ Jazz Jeff and Fresh Press album, man. Yeah, the first ones to win the Grammy, first hip hop. Oh, it was. Yeah, first hip hop wow. group to ever win the Grammy. I'm nominated for a Grammy. Well, not That's me. Drake is, but I produced. Uh, <laughs> That's what's up. Which one? I produced Talk Up for uh, me and my artist Ty. We produced Talk Up for uh, Drake and Jay Z on this new album, and that album is nominated for a Grammy, man. Coming up this coming up February. So hopefully I will win And I never Everybody think Three Seasons Mafia won a Grammy We never won a Grammy We won an Oscar And some other stuff American Music Award And whatnot. But That was a big deal though man yeah. Oscar it was, pretty, it was pretty big It's pretty big You didn't expect it though right You also nah, said that No hell no yeah. Fuck no No <laughs> I didn't expect that at all I didn't even know what it was at first When they t- called and told me I was like what the gold man I was like holy shit I was like for what They didn't make a mistake <laughs> did it <laughs> Yeah but uh, uh, So my first First Grammy nomination man Hopefully I win that Congrats man and uh, 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 um, so you you uh, you the DJing as far as DJing or producing, what's what's the, your favorite love? Because I do uh, both too, so I'm, I'm I know which one, man. Which one is yours? Production is like what I've always wanted to do. Quincy Jones, t- Teddy Riley, like Premier, all those are my favorite producers, and I always wanted to do that. DJing came with my family was all everybody in my family were DJs, like my uncle, my grandfather, yeah, like everybody. Was, so I always loved music. And um, I, I took it as far as I wanted to take it, which was to win a national championship. That's the shit. And to I love watching compete. Those. And now I'm done with that. And now I want to just focus on production, which I've been producing for almost uh, 15 years. I just never took it like seriously as the main thing I want to do. But production is like my thing. I love yeah. making beats, man. You sound like me. I got into DJing because I was, production was my thing too. I rap, but I hate writing raps. I can sit here. I can I can sit right here and make a beat while I'm interviewing y'all. But I hate writing raps. But but I got into DJing as well as a form to introduce my music, the beats. Right. Lord Infamous, rest in peace, uh, Lord Infamous. Lord Infamous, my brother was the was the uh, the the lyricist, and I make the beats. So I would make the mixtapes, so they would listen to the mixtapes, so they can you know hear the songs and just like you. And basically, we back at that time. Right. It's back to that time where people are you know using mixtapes to introduce their music. And I feel like the DJ and the producer, we really know how stuff should sound. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I like, like you, you saying you didn't like the write, but I'm pretty sure, like, when you got on the record, everybody's like, "Yo, you killed it, you dope." Da, da, da. Yeah. You like, man, I yeah, just want to make the damn that. beat. I ain't want to rap. Like, they you know always do that, but you like, you still like, 
That's that's not what my heart is. And I just hate to do it, and I'm just lazy. <laughs> when it comes to writing, I'm just lazy. Not when I'm making beats, but it comes to writing. Everybody freestyling on these records now, so you you be straight. Just find somebody to type write everything you saying down. You ain't got to deal with all the yeah, exactly. What they doing now. Yeah. Let's get to some music, man. You boy DJ Paul K O N Mafia Radio. Yeah. You boy DJ Paul K O N. We back up in here, Dash Radio, man. Today I would say is my most educational one of probably my most educational show that I've done you know when I found out the beautiful Drea regular was coming over here I had to change this script up a little bit like I had to I was literally I was so scared I drank before I came in like he's gonna <laughs> grill me no no this like, show is fun man this show is fun <laughs> it, it was fun but I thought we yeah, are I not gonna talk about interest rates on this, on this yeah, I show I made it I made it really clean so I was like it's, it's, it's cool you. how on your phone now how he got the little magic marker kind of little marker kind of deal so I'm on there like uh, suck dick does <laughs> Uh, eat booty this. <laughs> and take all this shit out like fuck <laughs> you know so had to clean it up uh, Andrea how can we find you on Instagram I'm at sold by Drea so S-O-L-D-B-Y Drea D-R-E-A yes. make sure y'all go follow her if y'all looking for a house in the Los Angeles area make sure y'all holler holler at her you can only sell in the state of California correct Right now, yeah, but if you have properties in Vegas, I'm going to go get my license in Vegas. <laughs> there you go. And then if y'all in other states, y'all can still holler at her because she's yeah, with a you. huge company. Yeah. She can refer you and she's going to put you in the right hands. And believe me, it's very, very important. Very, very important. Speaking of being in the right hands, Sam J. Lowkey, somebody who y'all been talking to all this time, trying to get your credit straight, <laughs> and you didn't know that you was talking to this gangster motherfucker. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> yeah. Sam, how can we find how can we find you on social media? Oh, it's just uh Sam J Loki or Inky the Bird. Something like that on there. Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> but those those, those are spelled totally different. Inky the bird and Sam Loki. Which yeah. one you want us to do? Yo, you gotta do both. No, ah, do both, <laughs> motherfucker. Inky the bird Sam. It's uh. S A M letter J L O K E Y. Mm-hmm. Cause I know some some of the callers called in and said he was looking for you at you know, other places like church and no, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. She do go to church. DJ oh, Ease, where you at, man? Where you at? Uh, at DJ Ease underscore. That's on Instagram. That's spelled DJ E E A S E underscore. There you go, underscore, man. Make sure y'all follow all of them, man. These are good, beautiful people. Y'all will see them on my uh, my YouTube as well, man. And DJ Ease hit them up for beats and all that. Me, I am at DJ Paul K O M letter K letter O letter M as in King of Memphis and uh, whatever you want to call me, King of Motherfuckers, King of cleaning the script up because the beautiful Drea came up in here today. But as soon as she walked out Thank the you. door, all of y'all gonna be some motherfuckers up in here. DJ Ease, you motherfucker. <laughs> Sam J, you high motherfucker. Hey. I'm joking. Mafia Radio every Wednesday night on Dash. Dash Radio, the channel is Dash Mixtape, man. Make sure y'all follow us, man, and make sure y'all stay up with us, man. We rocking, man. We up out of here. Yeah, Mafia.